Hello dear students, we will continue our discussion on ion acoustic wave from the last class. So, in the last class we have derived this expression which is do n i 1 by do t plus n naught del dot u i 1 is equals to 0. Right. So, which is the basic continuity equation. Now, from the momentum equation, we can write m i the mass of ions times n naught plus n i 1 times the convective derivative dou by dou t of u naught plus u i 1. We have taken the advection term to be 0 to begin with is minus del times del phi naught phi 1 times q n naught plus n 1 minus gamma gamma i basically gamma k b t i del n naught plus n i 1. So, doing the simple algebra of reducing this expression into simpler terms or lesser number of terms, we can write m i n naught dou u i 1 by dou t plus m i n i 1 dou u i 1 by dou t is equals to minus E del phi 1, del phi 0 all becomes 0, del phi 1 n naught minus E del phi 1 del n i 1. How did I get this? This is 4 terms to 2 terms. Del of phi naught becomes 0 and product of these perturbation terms which becomes second order also becomes 0. So, this term also becomes 0. Why? Because it is a product of perturbation terms. Product of perturbation terms is considered 0, right. We neglect it. Minus gamma k b t del n i 1. So, we have only one term out of these four terms that appear in as a product and the gamma k v g term as it is and this also becomes 0, this becomes. So, this one from our earlier discussion we can write this is equals to m i n i 1 is n naught e phi by k b t dou u i 1 by dou t because we have already derived that n i 1 is n naught e phi by k b t e actually right. So, using this we can write m i n naught dou u 1 by dou t is equals to minus e n naught del phi 1 this one minus gamma i k v t i del n i 1. Right. So, this is again a product of second ordered perturbed variables. So, this can be neglected. So, this term simply becomes 0 or not considered. So, we have this term as it is appearing here and this term and this term. Right. Let us write the equation for the sake of clarity. So, which is m i n naught dou u i 1 by dou t is equals to minus 
E n naught del phi 1 minus gamma i k b t i del n i 1. Right. Now, we have both the both the equations, the linearized equation. Let us say we from here, we call it as A and we call this as B. So, we will assume the sinusoidal solutions for the perturbed variables n i 1 is oscillating around the mean value n i 1 itself e to the power of i. Let us say we consider only one dimension k x minus omega t or the k vector is to be written as k x i cap plus k y j cap plus k z k cap and r is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap u i 1 is using this in equation 1 and sorry equation a and b using let us say we call this entire set of equations as c using c in a and b we can write m i n naught u i 1 times minus i omega the time derivative leaves you a factor of minus i omega is equals to minus e n naught i k phi 1 minus gamma i k v t i n i 1 times i k so we call this equation as d. Now in this we can substitute n i 1 is n naught e phi 1 by k v t e. Then we can write it as minus i omega m i n naught u i 1 is equal to minus e n naught i k n i 1 k b t e by n naught e minus gamma i k b t i n naught e phi 1 by k v t i times i k. What I have done is, I have obtained equation d by substituting the perturbation into this equation, into the governing equations, which is the momentum equation in this case. So, all of this going into this has given me this equation and into this equation I am substituting n i 1, where is n i 1? Here. Okay. And u i 1. What I have is this. We can cancel few terms here e n naught not k b t i k b t i what will be left with is minus i omega m i n naught u i 1 is equal to minus i k n i 1 
kbt e minus gamma i n naught e phi 1 i k. Let us say we call this equation as in, in our sequence as equation number Right. So, this is the story about the momentum equation. Let us bring the continuity equation. The, uh, applying the sinusoidal solutions, we can write n i 1 times minus omega, which is the time derivative dou n i 1 by dou t plus n naught u i 1 times i k is equal to 0, which simply tells you that n i 1 omega is equals to n naught u i 1 times k. Substituting for n i 1 which is n naught e phi by k v t is equals to times omega is equals to n naught u i 1 times k. So, which is u i 1 is e phi 1 by k b t times omega by k. This is equation f. Now, using u i 1 can be used into this equation into e, right, so, which is u i 1 is still a variable in this equation you see here. In order to simplify or get the dispersion relation, we have to eliminate these variables. So, u i 1 can be substituted from equation f. So, using f in e, the same, we can write minus i omega m i n naught e phi by k v t e times omega by k is minus i k n naught e phi 1 by k b t times k b t minus gamma i n naught e phi by k b t i k 1. No, no, it is not e phi by k b t, it is e phi only. Right, so this this n naught gets cancelled. E phi appearing on the left hand side and right hand side gets cancelled. Yeah, we can now write the equation as minus i omega m i times omega by k is equals to minus i k k b t minus gamma i i k 1 k b t. Right. So, what have we used from the uh, continuity equation and the momentum equation? Doing the simplification, so i will again gets cancelled we have minus omega square by k square is equals to minus k b t e minus gamma i k b t i by m i or omega square 
by k square is square root of k b t e plus gamma i k b t i divided by m i. Right, omega by k, it is supposed to be omega by k, not omega by k square, omega by k is this. So, this is nothing but the, the velocity. Right. So, this is the dispersion relation for ion acoustic wave, which is, which is uh, resembling the speed of sound in a medium. Right. So, we will discuss more consequences of this dispersion relation in the next class.